Two candidates are facing off for mayor of Grover Beach. Incumbent Jeff Lee faces a challenge from Elizabeth Dukas. Jeff Lee was first elected mayor of Grover Beach in 2018 after serving as a city council member from 2012 to 2018. He says he wants to continue working to solve issues in the city, including homelessness, residential street repair, and making sure the community has sustainable police and fire services. I visualize myself as a cheerleader for Grover Beach. And I think um, the positive attitude that I've brought to the leadership with a, with a vision is what I really bring to, uh, to Grover Beach. Lee says one of the biggest issues facing Grover Beach is homelessness. And I think that is one of the things that uh, we've started to make um, strides on, but it is still going to take a, a lot of a concerted effort by the community as well as the council and by staff. His challenger, court reporter Elizabeth Dukas, is concerned that the current mayor and council aren't making enough progress. And all of the city time, effort, money, studies, everything, and still we got $2.5 million of emergency homeless monies last year, and we don't have one facility for these homeless to go to. But Lee disagrees. Uh, we are moving forward as a city with a people self-help affordable housing project uh, at the, the corner of 13th Street and, uh, and Grand Avenue in Grover Beach. So we have started that process and we are looking forward to having a 50 unit complex. Duca says she doesn't believe current leaders are listening to the community. The lack of feeling heard is what she says made her want to run for mayor. They're acting autonomously is what is the best way I can say it. The city council acts autonomously. Uh, more often than not. Grover Beach was one of the first local cities to license marijuana sales. There are now 12 legal businesses operating in the city. Dukas wants to know where that promised tax money has gone. They want to know what happened to the marijuana monies. We were promised a lot of things with the marijuana monies. That was supposed to solve a lot of our problems. But Lee points to cannabis as a success. And what that's really done for the community and for the city is to bring in some tax revenues. And uh, in the last uh, fiscal year, I believe it was approximately 1.3 or $1.4 million of tax revenue did come into the community. Both say they want to represent the residents if elected. I'm here to represent unrepresented and underrepresented citizens. I'm here for the local people. Because I want to make sure that I'm doing the best for the community. And I, and I hope that, uh, that they give me the opportunity to continue that leadership. And three council seats in Grover Beach are also on the ballot in November.